Americans are increasingly dissatisfied with the companies they deal with, according to the latest data from the American Customer Service Index. And this means you're probably spending far too much of your precious time with customer service. So here to give you some tips on winning your case is Market Watch's Katie Hill. Hi, Katie. Great to see you. You too. So customer satisfaction is at an all-time low, is that it's right? It's very low, and from last year till now, it saw one of the biggest drops that we've seen in the 20-year history of this index. So people are like... I'm sick of dealing with customer service. <laughs> I don't, That's the answer to that. I feel that no, way you. all the time. But which industries <laughs> yeah. are especially despised? Who you would expect, really. <laughs> Airlines, which, my gosh, that's no surprise. Internet companies, cable companies. Those are the three worst. And every single index they measure, they're always right at the bottom because people do not like dealing with them. No, and you know what? It's such a big pain to be on the phone, pain. the email, the whole thing. So you have some tips on some mistakes that a lot of people make and how to avoid them. And you yes. say, first, forget don't forget that a little politeness goes a long way. Yes, yeah, so a study by Zendesk, Zendesk showed basically that if you say please and thank you, that's all you got to say, mm -hmm. it actually improves the experience. So a lot of, you know, a lot of times you think, I'm going to go in there and say, I'm sick of this, my cable's out, I'm mad. Right, you know, no you more Mr. Nice this. Guy. Right, but no, <laughs> don't do that because that actually makes them mad and then the, the whole thing spirals out of control and you don't get good customer service. So just say please and thank you. Just saying those little words actually improves the whole experience. Way, absolutely. Yeah. And then you say, take notes and make sure the rep knows you're taking notes. Yes, say I am recording this, just say something like that. Mm -hmm. We know from the Comcast call, mm -hmm. recording this that sometimes, recording yeah. right? They, they say, I mean, it sometimes helps you. So say, you know, I'm taking notes with this, I'm recording this so that they know they're accountable for what happens because then you have recourse if something happens down the road and the rep knows, I'm not gonna get off the hook by, you know, doing this. Absolutely, and then you also say, we shouldn't keep the problems to ourselves. Does that mean broadcasting them on social media? How do we get the word out? Yes, so you should contact the company via all channels and also if they're not answering you contact their competitors and see if you can get a better you know a better offer or something so say you know if your cable company is making you mad tweet at the other cable company and say this is you know this is not working this is what they're doing to me do you have a better offer for me because then you can this sounds awful but it works play them against each other great idea yeah. and then of course you say keep those emails short and succinct don't do those long rambling emails yeah another that Zendesk data showed this too it doesn't matter like a longer email isn't better than a shorter email, it's gonna, you know, it's, it's basically like you put details in, but don't be overly wordy, because guess what? Someone's reading that like, oh, this is so long, I'm not gonna answer this, right. you know? So just keep it short and sweet and to the point. That's gonna help your case. Yes. Katie, thank you so yeah, much. Thank we you. Could all